Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? This is your boy LT or Lego Tune bringing you another video today. This one's gonna be a video that's been requested by quite a few people. Uh, I did a video about a year and a half ago called How to Record Your Voice, How to Record Your Own Voice with the HD PVR2 Gaming Edition. I will leave a link in the description to both of them. I have an updated version that was like six months ago, maybe a year ago. God, it's been so long. But. They have so many views on it, like 20,000 views and then like 10,000 views. Their videos have been really popular on our channel. And um, a lot of people have been asking me how to stream and stuff like that. And I've been writing them in the comments and stuff. So I figured I'd make a video to help everyone out in case they don't know how to stream with the HD PVR 2. Now the first thing you will need is going to be open broadcast software. But it's called OBS Studios. It's not the classic version. So you go to right here, obsprojects.com. I'll have a link in the description. You can click on it right now and go download it. You want to go to this one right here, get OBS Studios. Okay. Now, if you have Linux, you click Linux, OS X, Windows 7, I have Windows 8. So I'll just click that, give it about five seconds. Look down here at the bottom. It's already going. I don't need it, so I'm going to cancel it. But after you do that, you basically just follow the steps. Really self-explanatory. Yes, yes, I agree. Blah, blah, blah. Bam. All right. So when you guys get it, all right, we'll exit that. So it's going to be here. Bam. It's going to, it should say uh, 0.13.2. All right. That's the latest version. So, but when you guys get it, it's going to, it's going to be, it's going to look like this. So we're just going to name this one YouTube. Oh my God. YouTube. There we go. It's gonna look like this, all right? Don't don't worry about my COD and all that kind of stuff. Don't worry about that. It's gonna look like this. So to add a scene, you can click this little plus button, add a scene, name it like LOL, bam. There's another scene. Okay, that's really simple. I mean, click the plus button, add a scene. Once you add a scene, you wanna add a source. Now the old OBS did not pick up the HTTP VR2. You gotta do like a window capture and all that, all that stuff like that was really difficult and it was annoying but the, well with multi-platform or excuse me OBS Studios it's really simple so you click the little plus button down here you're gonna go to video capture device right we'll name it HD PVR 2 bang and look as soon as you click it it's gonna pick it up this is what I have connected to my computer so it's gonna pick up the HD PVR 2 and so when 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 you have it pulled up, the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to say activate. Like mine says deactivate uh, because it's already activated. But you're going to activate it, configure your video, leave all this stuff the same, like uh, video coloring space, the video range, all that. Just leave it default. Leave all this default and click OK. There you go. That's it. That's So now you turn on your Xbox One, PS4, whatever it is that you have, you'll get video right here. Uh, I already have my HD PVR2 right here, so it's not going to show right here. But there you go. Now, what you need to do, you're basically set for settings. If you don't like, if okay, let's say you have an overlay, right? So you have your gameplay back here. You have overlay. I'll show you again. So you just click the little plus button, add image, right? We'll go overlay 2.0. Bang. We're going to go to browse. Here it is, right here. Look, stream overlay. This is. I haven't used a stream overlay in probably a year, but you know, this this is a stream overlay. There you go. Easy as that. Easy, 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 easy. If you want to add a webcam, same thing. Plus it. You want to go to the little plus button. Plus button. Video capture device. You want to name it Cam if you want. I already have Cam name. Sorry. Cam. Bam. And just change it over to the Logitech. And then it will pop up here. I already have it over there. So, of course, it's not going to do that. But you guys get the point. Really simple, really easy, dumbed down for anyone to use. All right. So, now what you need to do is get into your settings for streaming with HD PVR2. There's a few things that you need to have certain for the HD PVR2. But it's real simple. I'll break it down for you real quick. And, you know, you'll be out of here in no time. And you'll be streaming in no time. All right. So, you want to click the little settings button. Uh, I have the dark theme. You can change it to default. Default is really bright and really like just hits me in the face. I'm like, ah, so I don't really have it on bright. Uh, I like the dark theme. It, you know, it fits for me. I like it. And that's just personal preference. So you want to click on your stream. Now, this is where you need to go to Twitch. Go find your stream key. If you don't know how to find your stream key, 
go look it up on YouTube. Go how to find your stream key. It's real simple. Um, you want to click streaming service, and of course you have all these YouTube, Hitchbox, all that kind of stuff like that. I use Twitch. Uh, I live in Texas, so Dallas is the closest server to me, and uh, I have the best ping to that. And put my stream key, hit apply, and done. Bam. Now you can technically stream if you wanted to. Just click the start streaming button and go. But I wouldn't really recommend that until you have your settings all tweaked out. And it's going to be, settings are going to be different for people. Like I have a low tier computer, but it's also, it's also you know, it's a mad machine. It can do crazy things. Uh, if you have a high tier computer and you paid two, three thousand dollars for it, your settings could be higher or lower. It all depends on that stuff. But technically, right now, you could stream with the HD PVR2 with just those three steps. Or, yeah, download, add a scene, and then this right here. That's it. You can basically stream right now. But we're going to go a little bit more into depth with it just, just for the sake of the video. Just for you guys to look at it. So when you get it, it's going to be like this. It's going to say simple. Okay? It's simple. You can choose your bitrate. Now, your bitrate is going to be decided on what your upload speed is. My upload speed, I think right now, is like a 20. So I could use 3500, which is Twitch's max that they will allow. But here's here's the thing. I don't use 3500 for the simple fact that if someone in Canada or someone in uh, the UK comes into my stream and their, their upload speed is only like 2, right? They have a 2, two megabyte upload then they're not going to be able to watch my stream if I'm at 3500 they're going to be it's constantly going to be buffering for them uh they might just be able to hear just the audio so I run a 20 I actually run a 2400 but the other night I was experimenting so I run 2400 bitrate that way people with low internet can come and watch because I feel like you shouldn't exclude those people who 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 watch Twitch for the enjoyment of the game instead of you know go on there to be a dick or whatever so that's why I run that uh, the audio bitrate just leave it there now here it is encoder is where it, where really your PC comes into it so if you're on a laptop you probably want to use ultra fast unless you're on like Alienware or something now it comes default very fast I use very fast all the time uh, there's maybe once in a blue moon my computer wants to shit the bed so I'll change it to super fast now what this changes is your CPU usage which it will show you down here if you can see where my mouse is down here if that's super high like you don't want it above like 20 30 if it's above 20 or 30 you want you want to you want to lower this from very fast to super fast because it takes it lowers the CPU now it will make your stream look a little bit worse but you know if you want to stream at all then you probably should lower it down if you don't have that much I use very fast if if your stream is lagging a lot and you feel like your computer is about to combust lower it down to super fast and again if it feels the same ultra fast um, that's basically it and uh, this is just the simple way now recording you can make your own your own file for the recordings to go into like I did here it goes into the YouTube file uh, if now the recording quality if you want it to be like your stream just the 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 quality of your stream if you have a good quality or a bad quality whatever it is you decide in your mind whether you want to upload a video to YouTube whether you want it to be the same or not I personally use the high now it does take more CPU usage but I have a CPU that can handle it so therefore that's what I use um, I actually use the advanced settings because I know quite a bit about it. So uh, I use two audio tracks. You guys can pause the video right here and use these settings if you want. Try them out. Of course, it's going to be different for everyone. Like I said, guys, it all depends on your computer, your internet speed, and all that kind of good stuff. But if you want to, go ahead and take, take a picture, do whatever you want, use these settings, and try it out for you and tweak them to your liking. I have no, you know, I don't mind at all. So this, the encoder, you can't really change as of right now. You do want to enforce the streamer um, service code, which Twitch says I think I have 3,500 bit rate is the most you can do or whatever like that. Uh, my rescale is to, at 720. I do stream in 720. It's a little bit lower than 720 sometimes, depending on when my computer decides to shit the bed. But other than that, uh, like I said, a 2,400 bit rate. The keyframe for the HDP VR2 is 2, so you want to use 2. 
this could change for some people depending on your computer as well I do run on very fast uh, profile and everything is none and that's pretty much it for that you, you, you want to click apply and uh, move on like and then recording at the top here I use a standard this goes to my OBS recordings I use mp4 format because it works with Sony Vegas if you're gonna use Sony Vegas make sure this is on mp4 because these other files just get fucked in Sony Vegas and it's just like a cluster it's a clusterfuck basically I also use two audios for my headphones and my blue snowball mic like I said again the encoder I can use my stream encoder but it's always been at 264 and it looks fine to me uh, I do stream in 1080p it does take more CPU of course but if you have a computer to take it then use it why not why not take advantage of that that expensive computer I do record in 15,000 bit rate uh, I do use custom buffer uh, very fast again I use high on the profile for the recording you can, you can pause the video try this if you want tweak it to your likings again um, and click apply and you're done now one of the most one of the most important things is is gonna be on this stream on this this tab right here the audio tab so I use a 48 you can use 41 all this really doesn't matter what matters is what's tab right down here right here so for the HDP VR2 gaming edition the mic to video delay is 15,000 millis or 1500 milliseconds I've used the 1500 milliseconds in recordings I've used it in streaming I've been on and off streaming for the last year and a half I haven't been consistent which is my fault and I do apologize uh, hopefully we can change a little bit but 1500 milliseconds is like you don't want it to be like a bad Japanese movie where they're like you see their lips moving and then five seconds later then you hear them talking that's what it would be like if you don't put the mic aux in like this okay so if you want your it's gonna be off by like a half a second but that's better than five seconds so 1500 or 1500 milliseconds is what I've been using this whole time and it works perfectly fine you could try it out you could tweak it bring it up a little bit bring it down a little bit maybe 1550 try something out for you 1500 works for me but make sure you have this in here so you're not your audio is not off by like a mile and people are like hey what are you saying you know you're getting killed you, you're speaking and then like if you get killed in Call of Duty and you say oh shit or something like that if you rage or whatever they hear you say that and they're like well uh, what happened you're still on the wall run you know what I'm saying you don't want it to happen so put this in 1500 milliseconds and try it out and see how it works for you I mean basically all the settings are the same I just run a base resolution of 1920 by 1080 because the HD PVR 2 does record at 1080 60 FPS but I do downscale it to 720 because I record or not record sorry I stream 720 uh, I leave it at 30 FPS because Call of Duty is what I mainly play and it's 30 FPS most of the time at least I don't think it goes higher than that but anyways it does record at 60 FPS, but 30 is just fine. It looks just great. Uh, basically, that's it. Once you finish that right there, you can stream. I mean, you're pretty much done. So you have your game. You have everything. Now, you just click to start streaming right here. Don't worry about the scene transaction fade. That's just like how long it takes to go from here to here and all that kind of stuff like that. Uh, then click start streaming, and, the, and you're good to go. I mean, you start streaming. Like you said, you will have to tweak your settings a little bit. If your CPU is real high, you want to go into settings, and you might want to go... To your output, you might want to lower this down to say like 2200 or something like that if you're having a really laggy time, or you're just gonna have to tweak with it and play with it, guys. But uh, I hope you guys, I hope this guys did, I hope this video did help you out uh, somewhat with the HTP VR2. Uh, I have a lot of other stuff that we can do with it if you guys need help. Just just leave a comment, I will, I will reply. I promise you, it might take me a day or two, but I will get to you and reply to your comments on whatever that you need help with uh, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already go check out our call of duty videos and all that good stuff like that and as always guys this has been your boy LT I will see you guys in the next one